guys, man. We're about to just warm up the chest, and we're going to get right into it. A lot of people just jump and stuff. Sometimes it's okay, but most times you want to warm up the chest. So we're going to warm up the chest. Chest press. Uh, we're going 10. Let's go. None of this. All the way out. Breathe. Get more than 10, but I lost count. But you gotta get this. Sometimes you don't really have a count when you're um, when you're warming up. You just want to fill one, but it don't matter if you do 10, 12, 20. Make sure you warmed up. So we about to jump into it. I'm pretty warmed up just for the cardio and everything in that. All right, guys. So I'm not gonna show you every set. Take my word for it. I'm about to hit every set. But what today I wanted to basically go through is a good chest workout, and I want to take you through my chest workout. But I also want to talk about. The importance of doing certain things. First thing is working your muscle. Don't be in here trying to be the biggest, strongest man. It's okay. You should, you should work out to be as strong as you want to be. But if you're trying to build a muscle and you're trying to be a bodybuilder, you want to build your body. Stop focusing on the weight. Focus on the concentration. Focus on doing right. So here we go. So we're going out. First set. Here we go. It's going to be a super set. Shorts. So first we did the long extension. So I'm up like 21. Four, up. Woo! I'm gonna show y'all one more time because I know some people might not got it. Let me show you without the way. So basically you come in doing regular pulls. 10 of those, 10 to 12, I'm gonna do more than 12. Then you're doing shorts. You're coming out about right here. And then you're coming out to long and you stop about right here. Oh, don't and don't and don't stop. You gotta stop, you gotta stop. But you get the motion, and you're gonna do that three times. Pick a weight that you can do it three times. You want them to get no lower than eight, no more than 12, and you wanna aim for 10. So I'm gonna show y'all one more time with the weight. Alright, here we go. Pull, make sure he's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Y'all don't feel that something wrong with y'all. Or y'all doing too light of weight. You're gonna feel that all up in your chest. So guys, I'm about to finish my last set on this and we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, guys. I'm about to get serious. I'm well warmed up. I want you guys, oh yeah, yeah. Shout out to the old POG. Physique's a greatness. You know, no Roy just raised. I always keep that man old and day. Anyway, guys, so today I'm trying to show you at least a good five or six good chest workouts. I'm gonna try to choose between the cables and uh, and the dumbbells, just so I know you guys got something that you can take with. I want everybody to take something. So this time, and, I'm, and I've been on supersets. I told you guys this last time. You can get your ass out of here if you're doing supersets. And you get a little bit more cardio. So what I'm doing this time, I'm going wide. It's other chest. Enough. That should be that hard, guys. <sighs> but I. Uh, had this machine guys like I said I'm gonna show you different things but most people should have this machine uh, but basically all we're doing is like I said wide and then close if you want to go 
If you want to be about it, you want to do like a, a triple set. Sometimes I do wide, middle, close. Today I'm trying to keep it simple, down to two things, just so you guys can get it. All right, so one more time for you guys. This time I'm gonna switch in. And sometimes if I do four sets, this week is three. If I do four, what I'll do is I'll do two close, and then I'll do the, the first two out or something like that, you know? Get your brain going. Make, make working out fun, man. This, this, this is fun, man. Have fun. Don't make this like you in prison or are you sitting there, you gotta do this. Make, make it like you want something. Here we go. Now, if you're sitting there, you, uh, I know some people are gonna be hard for it. Shake it off, beat it off. Get right, jump back into it. Say you did not, you only got five of them. Take a break. I don't care if it take you one by one. Effort is what's gonna get you where you need to go. Pure effort. So I don't care if I'm sitting there one arm. One. Take a break. Get back to you get the you get the deal. So that's what we're doing for that. I'ma see you at the next one, guys. Alright guys, now we have the dumbbells. Now guys, I would suggest that you started a low weight because if you start at the high weight and you end up, you know, sapping your nervous system, you're gonna waste your workout. So if you get more, so be it. Then move up. I would say start with light. light and then move up. So here we go. Uh, 10. Sometimes what people will do is they'll push instead of squeezing and then use them more of the shoulders. So, yeah, so we're gonna do one more set. Like always, I, I, I said I was gonna show you guys one set and I'll end up there too, but I just want you guys to get it down. So we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna move up here. I'm not gonna lie. The 35s, 35s are pretty rough, but we're gonna move up. Usually I start off with this, by the way. I never really did it in between. So we're gonna see how this work out. I'm doing the 50. This time I'm gonna switch from the fly. So I just wanna show y'all what would happen if you, you rotate. You should rotate, I rotate if I'm doing four. Sometimes if I'm doing three, I rotate. That way you get your best sets on one of them. You don't want to give all your best set to your pushes. Sometimes you want to start off with your flies so you can get some of your best set to your flies. Now that's what I mean by pushing. Look, that's pushing. I said, come up. Two, three, you gotta finish those up, guys. 
This is why it's so crucial to pick a weight that you believe you can get at least eight to 10 times because you don't want to fall. Because I'm telling you, the more you stall, the more your workout gonna be. So let's get back to it. Don't be talking to Danny. Don't be looking at the girls. Get back to it. coming to the upper chest. You know, I like to do a lot of flat, the incline, flat, incline, and if you want to, behind you, down, turn around, you got your decline. Now, the, de the decline, the decline has died. I don't I don't let it fully go. I just don't do it off time. So like every three weeks, I add some incline to a regimen. So I do, I mean, I say incline, decline. So I do decline for two to three weeks, no longer. And now I cut it off for a while. So let's get to this. Now I want to give you guys cables, dumbbells, barbells, I don't care what it is. I'm trying to show y'all everything. All right. So with this one, you can use this on flat. We are did flat, so I'm going to show you on this one. So what I would do, guys, for this super set, line it up, pinky. You know, this is my wide. I can go a little wide if I want to, but I like to be pinky. Bring it up. I come right here. Touch my upper chest. Not here. That's more. Up. Right. Bring my thumb in. Could be, I got two grips. So what I did is I'm like, I like this grip, but it engages the tricep a little bit. So I'm like, why? Why not do both? Now guys, this one's hard. If it ain't hard for you, good congratulations, but this one be hard. So you might take a little break after the superset. But I'm basically saying you want to hit this right after. You do it right after break, you have to wait a little bit, that's cool, but you hit both of them. So you're coming in a little closer. Not like light close grip, you're coming in here. You basically coming in here, lining your thumb out with the brittle, right outside the brittle, two move part. Bring it in, this is how I learned the football. And then bring it in, bam. Same thing, chest. I'm telling you guys, from what I say, man, that's why I'm using these 45s. If I take my time, if I do one, I'm gonna hit it easy. I can hit this forever. Well, if you do those both, what I'm saying is, guys, you don't gotta put on all that weight. Think about it, when you get a good workout, without, you don't have to stack all the weight on there. So if you wanna pile the weights on, look around, see who's looking, I, I wanna be the person they looking at saying, oh man, he ain't even using a lot of weight and he getting results. They don't think two things. They gonna think I'm using something, or they gonna say, hey, she's doing something that I'm not. So, and I can tell you one thing, you seen the shirt earlier, no Roy's just raised. Uh, I, you know, I, it's just, you just gotta come in there, you gotta get it done, guys. So now, like I said, rotate. Coming in this time, close. Give me what you can. I want it, I said I want at least eight. No more than 12. Come on. That's the 10 to 12. But if I, if I can only get up to eight, I'll stop right there. I didn't include that either. If I get up to eight, I can stop. If I can go all the way up to 10 or nine and above, I'll get it. Don't waste your time, keep trying to chase 10. That's what I'm trying to say. If you get eight, cut it. All right. What do we got? We got three. We got, uh, we got five more of them. Oh, 
I promise that will kick your butt. We got one more. I'm gonna go do the cables, and now I'm gonna see you guys on your way. I'm gonna show you guys update you on the physique too. Here we go. So I only got two percent. Of course, my phone ain't charging. So when I'm gonna hurry up and show you these cables, you know I know you've seen these before, but I want to go over the base again because there's always a new person that don't know. So I'm gonna go over here. I'll come in front of me, bro. Cause I know I'm not sure. All right. People think be thinking there's only one way. Get the right way. Mashed up. What's this on? Five. Three to five. All right. So, yeah. Basically, what you want to do, guys. Now, a lot of people don't talk about this. All right. Don't just come in so you don't mess your shoulders up. Pull it down and then come in. That's going to save your shoulders. So, you can even do this. You can even come down. Mm. Right here. Why? Very good. Not, not push down here. Why? Very good. Mm. Then I call it levels. Then you come up here. Why? I know you you know when you got like a deck pack, a peck deck. You 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 know you coming straight up. So bam. Bam. Then you come all the way up here. Like I said, kinda like the peck deck. And up here, up top. So I'll show you again. Down. Squeeze. Squeeze. A little bit up here. Squeeze. Make sure you come back. <laughs> All the way up like a peg. Right in. So you get the gist. Let me show you this because I don't have much uh I don't have much battery time guys. It's probably at one right now. So I'm gonna try to take one more upper. Just so you guys know. Great, sorry one on there. Here we go. Bam. See, people who tend to come here, you want to make sure you stress the chest all the way back up here. Squeeze up top. Not all the way up here, make the shoulder up top right here. Feel that chest all the way back. Bring both your arms. See, some people bend their arms like this. You Then you curl them. Just a little bit. Not all the way flat. If anything, I'd rather you all the way flat like this, then like this, because then you're doing curls. So, go there. You can even come, you can even come a little bit down, right here. But make sure you get that stretch, because this ain't a long distance. So you want to keep constant tension right here, but elbows back to back. Guys, I'll meet you guys upstairs. I'm gonna try my phone a little bit, show you the seat, and I'll holler at you.